All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, cool, an Xbox. What's going on, everybody? Republic Cinema here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Yolo Park AMK Pro X Apolink. Yes, apparently Apolink has a robot mode. It's just like Primal's, just more scuffed and scratched. Now, originally, I wasn't going to get this guy, but decided against it, as I think he looks pretty cool. What wasn't cool was how much money was spent for this guy. But anyways, before we unbox the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. On the front is this nice artwork of what you get inside the box, and a whole bunch of words, names, and logos. I believe on both sides is a little, uh, boring. And then on the top, you get this nice Transformers Rise of the Beasts logo. And then on the bottom is nothing. But you turn to the back, and you you get a little bit more info of what you get inside the packaging and it appears as if there's a lot of features for this guy but anyways i believe it's time we get down to unboxing uh okay let's see what else is here oh my goodness i suppose that's the instructions and then i saw something else under here let me put the box away for a second what is this Oh, it's like some QR code, I guess. But anyways, here's that. And here's... Oh my goodness. Here's four layers worth of parts to assemble. Starting off, the one at the very top shows the display base. The other two layers display more pieces that are of the outer layer for Apelink. And then the fourth and chunkiest layer houses the endoskeleton. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna unbox this guy. So, uh, yeah. Cue the build. And here we have Yellow Park Apelink fully assembled. Now, I gotta say, that assembly was not easy, as there were certain pieces that required a lot of force to be plugged in. But it's okay, as we got this nice looking figure. Now, real quick, let's talk about Apelink and his character. He was the leader of the Maximals up until he gave that right to Optimus Primal before he went against Scourge and died. Let's be honest, Scourge was probably stronger than him, but Apelink still put up a good fight with him. And I gotta say, this guy's unfortunate demise was pretty messed up, as he got stabbed and got a considerable chunk of his shoulder blown off. But hey, at least he stalled enough for the Maximals to leave the planet before he got eaten up. Now, this figure is part of the AMK Pro X series, which strives to make premium repaints and minor remolds of already existing Yolo Park model kits. Apelink here so far is the only one as it is the debut of the AMK Pro X series, but anyways, the painting and sculpting is pretty good, pretty good. As you can see, there's a lot of molded in scuffs and scratches which really contributes to the realism on this figure. Except for the feet, the feet look normal, like there's no scratches, but that was the same thing for Optimus Primal anyways. Oh, and the back is pretty plain, but let's be honest, what did we expect? Also, I don't remember Apelink having these on his shoulders. We'll get to those later. But can we talk about this guy's head? This looks nice. And I love how the eyes are painted in a way where it almost looks as if they're glowing. Oh, and I think this extra headpiece kind of contributes to the difference between this guy's head and Primal's. Overall, a good-looking head sculpt. It's a shame we never got to see this guy more in the movie. We could have seen his alt mode, too. That's why the only lead we have so far is this Yolo Park figure. Hopefully, sometime later going forward, more leaks of early concept art of Apelink's robot mode surfaces, let alone air razors. Also, I gotta appreciate the Maximal logo right smack in the middle of the chest. Looking good, looking good. And now for quality, it's all right. I just got this guy out of the box, so of course the joints are gonna be a little stiff, especially around this area. Ugh, that did not sound right. However, I do have something floppy and it is this leg right here, look at that. Oh, and sometimes when moving the guns around, you gotta make sure you push it in, otherwise if you're just normally moving it around, will lead to the gun popping off. Oh, and since this hair thing is on the way, you can't really move his head around that that much without this piece popping off and what is this up oh, we got something else floppy literally everything else stiff 
And now for accessories, well, these are his accessories. As the sidearm blades are what he was using to fight Scourge, and much like alt mode, they are stored right in the back of the arm. They do have a little bit of articulation, and overall a pretty nice looking blade. The detail's just wild. Another wild detail I forgot to point out was all these gears and pistons. They don't move around, but they sure do look like they move around. Now aside from those side arm blades, he does come with a pair of extra arm pieces. Again, kind of a missed opportunity with the hands as I think it would have been pretty cool if, since this is an AMK Pro X series figure, it would have been nice to see the hands being fully articulated. I mean, they did it for Scourge and Rhinox, so why not Ape Link? I suppose it's not much of a big deal as the hands are painted very well. Of course, the pair that is currently being held is the pair that holds the accessories which are compatible with the swords that Optimus Primal comes with, and they kind of hold the swords better than Primal himself, as the hands on Ape Lynx aren't as floppy as Primal's. Primal is just a floppy mess, or at least it's floppy for my copy anyways. Anyways, here's another pair of hands which are more opened than the other pair. And for the left arm, there's two more hands, one being for the, uh, we take the battle to them kind of hand, and then one that's completely gripped this time. So yeah, basically the same set of hands as Optimus Primal. However, there is one more accessory, that being quite a big accessory that, of course, he doesn't hold. It's a display stand. Yes, this guy has a display stand, which there is an option to remove it so you could get this guy for cheaper on the AliExpress website. That's in case you don't want this thing. Also, it just comes with one assembly step, that being to plug the Maximal logo right there. And uh, yeah, nice Maximal logo. Wow. Another thing to point out when putting this guy in the display stand, there is a set of magnets that hold him in place, that hold him in place, that hold him in place. That hold him in place? I guess not. Anyways, here's Ape Link in the stand, and you know what? He looks pretty cool. It would have been nice if you were given the option to stand him around where there was more magnets for him to be magnetized on, but I suppose it's no big deal. Also, I believe right here in the middle, and I believe also here is where the magnets magnetize. So yeah, kind of cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it for accessories. Overall, not too much, but it is what it is. Anyways, moving on to articulation, ball joint at the head, which allows for an up and a down, and swivel. Oh, and for the record, this head is dictated by a series of ball joints, not just one. The shoulder guns move up and down, would have been a full rotation at the arm had it not been for this very crazy stiffness. I feel like I'm gonna break this thing. Shoulder pad moves out, bend at the shoulder, bend at the elbow, which has a little bit of a mecha life gimmick almost, bicep swivel, and the wrist is ball jointed. Except for the blade on the side, it's uh, a swivel joint, and then this thing is dictated by a hinge joint and a ball joint. The torso can rock from side to side, and can also rock forward and backwards. Waist swivel, legs can spread, leg can move forward, can also move backwards, thigh swivel, nice. And at the knee, knee pad moves out, the foot can move up and down, can also rock from side to side, can also swivel. The front toes can move up and down, and the same goes for the side toes as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. And yes, the articulation is packed, because this is a Yolo Park figure anyways. Almost forgot to mention that this thing also moves up and down, glad I remembered. Now, since this guy is pretty packed with articulation, you'd expect him to break into a couple of poses, but it is a little difficult to do that, no thanks to the stiffness. But anyways, I think it's time we move on to size comparison, starting off with the Yolo Park Optimus Primal, and here he is next to some other versions of Optimus Primal, that being the Studio Series version, Mainline Primal, Ultimate Optimus Primal, and of course the Kingdom Primal, which represents the very first version of Primal ever. Rhinox, Cheater, Yolo Park Scourge, Studio Series Scourge, Scorponok, Bumblebee, and lastly, Optimus Prime. And here he is next to the rest of the gang of Maximals. You know, if they could come up with an alt mode for Ape Link, they could sure come up with an alt mode for Air Razor. Just complete the team. It would be cool to have a full set. I suppose we'll let time and money be the judge of that. But overall, what we have here so far is really nice. But anyway, here Ape Link is with the entire collection of AMK Pro figures from the movies that have been released so far. There are three figures that haven't been released yet, 
but who knows when they're coming out. So far, this is what we have, and it all looks nice. I could see the collection is slowly growing, slowly making its way upwards, ever since these three figures right here have been released. And so far, what we have here is quite a lot. Despite it only being seven Yellow Park figures, it's about to be ten in six months. But anyways, out of all seven of these figures, which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all I had to say for this guy. Overall, pretty solid figure. I mean, it's supposed to be solid anyways. It's it's an AMK Pro X series, so obviously certain paint apps have to be a little premium to live up to that name. And it doesn't disappoint. Now, is it really worth the $60 Probably not. Again, you can get them for less if you don't want the stand, but still a little over $35. I think it's still a little too much for this guy, especially if he's like $50 to $60. But if you really want this guy to complete the Yolo Park collection, I'd say go for it. If you are looking to pick this figure up, he's available exclusively at the YoloPark.com website. I'm not sure if you can get this guy on Amazon or ShowZ. I don't know. Let me know in the comments on that one. But anyways, I hope to see more of these Pro X series in the future, as I think they're doing a pretty good job so far. I know one candidate, as previously mentioned before, would be that Knight Optimus Prime. They could probably do a little uh, touch-ups to make him look more like how he looked in the last night with his Nemesis Prime look. Or they can also do a Nemesis Prime prime version of this guy but now all we can do is hope that comes to fruition anyways if you like what you saw in this video be sure to slam that like button share this with your friends as well turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss another video let me know how i did in this video and most importantly be sure to hit that big red subscribe button as we are slowly approaching 7,000 subscribers and uh yeah i think that's pretty much it thanks for watching see ya also forgot to mention when unboxing this guy there is also this which I won't bother opening up.